I've been around, round, round, round So many people let me down, 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 down There's nowhere I can go that your love won't reach me right on time Cause it don't matter where you go Okay, okay, hello everybody. Welcome back to another session here at the table where there is a seat for you, no matter who you are, no matter what your past, no matter what your background is. Look, God has made a seat here for you and we wanna welcome you with open arms to have your place at the table right now. Look, get ready to get into the word of God. I wanna thank you for joining with us wherever you are. Um, and I pray that this word will minister to you and be a blessing to you in Jesus' name. Amen.
Okay, so let's get into the Word of God. Right, last week we were talking about um, our topic of character building. And especially in a week, uh, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a maybe a week that you've had, the things that's happened to you, the things that we've heard, um, more than ever, it's important for us to be people of character, people of substance. And the character that we have um, will propel us and actually inform and sculpt and make us into the people of tomorrow, make us into the people that we are going to be and the people that we see and the people that we reflect. Um, 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 and I want us to just talk about some key things in terms of how we can make sure that we're building that and we're doing that right and we're doing that the way that God wants us to do it. Um, so last week we looked at the um, parable of the... Um, well, I call it the parable of the account, um, the bad accountant, but um, the the steward, the, um, the the money steward, in Luke chapter sixteen, um, and we saw that um, God is telling us, look, if you're faithful in little things, then you'll be faithful in the big things. If you're trustworthy with the small things, you'll be trustworthy with the big things. And in, when he was talking about trustworthy with the small things, he was like, if you're trustworthy with worldly wealth then actually you'll be trustworthy when it comes to the big things of the kingdom. And that's what God wants us to do ultimately because he's put us here to be the salt of the earth. He's put us here to be the light to everybody around. So he wants us to be able to do those kingdom things. That, and that kingdom, like, it might sound like, sometimes when we say kingdom stuff, it sounds, whoa, 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 whoa. I'm just me, do you know what I mean? I'm just me. It's just like, me doing my thing and me doing my like I've got my um, 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 my own little like I'm not this is the kingdom that's big man I leave that to the big pastors and the big preachers and the, the big singers and the big like kingdom is us we are the kingdom so let's get into the word of God today today I want us to look at um, a story that it's probably well known however it's probably well known but I want us to look at it from a different way as well fitting into what we're talking about in terms of those small habits that form character that and the character that forms the things of our lives or the way we are um, or that propels us in terms of how we respond even in situations um, and I want us to look at a response of um, these guys in this in, the, in, the, in, the, in this parable so if we can turn your Bibles with me to Matthew chapter 25 Matthew chapter 25 we're going to be reading from verse number 14. We're looking at the parable of the three servants, or the parable of the talents. Um, and it's a well-known parable, but let's just quickly read the word of God. So, uh, and the kingdom of heaven can be illustrated by a story of a man going on a long trip. He calls together his servants and entrusts his money to them while he's gone. He gave five bags of silver to one, two bags of silver to another, and one bag of silver to the last, dividing it in proportion to their ability. He then lift, um, left on his trip. The servant who, was, who received the five bags of silver began to invest the money and earned five more. The servant, who, um, the servant with two bags of silver went and worked and earned two more. But the servant who received one bag of silver dug a hole in the ground and hid his master's money. After a long, um, after a long time, the, their master returned from the trip and called them to give an account of how they'd used the money. The servant who, um, the servant whom he had entrusted with five bags of silver came forward with the five with five more and said master you gave me five bags of silver to invest and i have earned five more the master 
was full of praise. Well done, my good and faithful servant. You have been faithful in handling the small amount. So now I will give you more responsibility. Let's celebrate together. The servant who received the two bags of silver came forward and said, Master, you gave me two bags of silver to invest and I earned two more. The master said, well done, my good and faithful servant, for I have been, before you have been faithful in handling the small, this small amount. So now I will give you more responsibility. Let's celebrate together. Now this is the guy I want to see. Like for me, there's, I want us to look at two, almost two aspects. So you've got the guys who did something with the money. Then this is the second half of it. Then the servant with the one bag of silver came to him. Master, I knew you were a harsh man, harvesting crops where you didn't plant and gathering crops where you didn't cultivate. I was afraid and um, I was afraid I would lose your money. So I hid it in the ground. Look, here's your money back. But the master replied, you wicked and lazy servant. If you knew I harvested crops and did, um, um, I didn't plant and gathered crops I didn't cultivate, why didn't you deposit my money into the bank? At least I would have, um, it would have gotten um, interest on it. Then he ordered, take the money from that servant and give it to the one with the 10 bags of silver. To those who Use well what is given, even more will be given, and they will have an abundance. But for those who do nothing, even the little they have will be taken away. Now throw um, this um, now throw this useless servant into the darkness, and there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, not blah, 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 but yeah. Okay, so. For me, that's a well-known story, but if we look at the, 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 the response of um, the two sets of servants, so let's put them into two categories. You've got the guy who was basically given like um, a lot. There was a lot that was put in his hand. So because there was a lot put in his hand, ah, okay, there's an expectation that um, because he's been given a lot that he should, should perform a lot. But then we also have the guy who was given less than the, 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 first, the first guy. And... Um, sometimes when we're not necessarily promoted, given that promotion, we're not necessarily offered that new opportunity, we kind of look at it and we're like, okay, okay, what's my response going to be in this situation? Am I the kind of person who um, has nothing? Is there nothing I can do? Um, is there no situation? Because even how they went about getting their increase, one of them invested it. The other one, the Bible tells us here that he actually went and worked hard. So actually, it's not one way of dealing with it. But the key thing is here. Look, they were stupid. They, 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 the, the master had given something them, to, to them in their hands. And he'd entrusted something into their hands. I want us to remember this, that the kingdom of God... That's, this is what Jesus is telling us. Look, the kingdom of God, and what is the kingdom of God? The kingdom of God is you and I. We are the kingdom of God. We are people within his kingdom, so therefore we are the kingdom of God. And the kingdom of God is like this, in the sense that there are different things that have been put into each and every single one of our hands. And the way that we, although it may look on the face of it, we've been given, you've been given faith. You've been given faith. Okay, so now you've got your faith or you've been given your grace, or you've been given your righteousness. That's something that's been given to you. So if you've been given your righteousness, you've been given that right standing with God, same as I have been, how are you using it? And the way you're using it, like the, the, the two guys might be using it different. So okay, maybe in that right standing with God's been, okay, you know what? I've now been released to be a blessing to all my family members. I'm the person who's the, 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 the bringer of hope. I'm the person who's helping to reunite. Like, oh, but then someone else might be, okay, I've been released from kingdom of darkness into the righteousness. And now, okay, that, 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 that gift, that gift that I've now been given, the way I'm going to steward it is that I'm going to, um, um, 
I'm, I'm going to be singing songs, I'm going to be making music, I'm going to be speaking, um, I'm going to be evangelizing, I'm going to be creating Insta posts, I'm going to be creating uh, 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 um, tweets, writing tweets of inspiration to people, I'm going to be doing blogs, of, um, 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 like whatever it is, you're doing something with it. That's what the kingdom of God is like. That's what the kingdom of God is like. And the thing is, God has given each and every single one of us a gift. But the thing is here, similar to last week, when we're faithful, when we're trustworthy, when we are diligently doing something with even that little, that's the kind of character that God's looking for us. That's the kind of attributes. Those are the kind of things that God is looking for you and I to be doing. And it doesn't have to be, it doesn't have to be, um, 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 doesn't have to be revolutionary all the time. It doesn't have to be, um, it doesn't have to be the first all the time. It could be you just doing the simple thing. It could be just you saying, okay, what do I have in my hand? What do I have in my hand? Actually, I ain't got no money. I haven't got a job. Everybody around me hates me. Everybody's turned their back on me. There's no one. What do you have? The, the greatest thing that is the greatest gift that God has given to each and every single one of us. Same like the, 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 um, the rich man that was going away. He gave us access to him. He gave us access to his own. We are righteous. And because of that, there is, there is um, uh, because of now our newfound position with Christ, that's something that we have. There is a joy that is now on the inside of us. There's a joy now that's on the inside of you. There's a joy now that's on the inside of you that the world can't take away. And people can't even understand it sometimes. Your friends and family might be, yo, you're different. You still, you still ain't got no money, but you're different. You still haven't got a husband. You're different. You still haven't, like the kids still haven't come. You're different. You're going through a tough time, but dude, there's something, and that gift there is something you can use when you, you, you take that joy and you say, okay, all right, how am I gonna cultivate this? How am I gonna use it? What little thing is it that I can do? Okay, I'm gonna smile in every situation. That could be my little thing. How you doing? I'm blessed, hope you're well too. That could be my little thing. That could be that little thing that I do that builds a character that means that my response in every situation is a response that lifts people up, a response that encourages people, a response that turns a, a, a frown into a smile. What's the little, little things that we're doing to steward the, the things of God? Because here we see that whether it's a big thing you've been given, whether you've been given a responsibility to set up an organisation or run a church, um, do um, um, to, to, to run a business, to do charity or, or to even maybe you're raising children or maybe you've got a small or what seems to you to be a small thing that small seed, that small thing that you've got what's your character like with it? how are you building um, what, what, how, are you, how are you acting responsibly with it? and at times as Christians especially in um, this time where can we talk like home? Can we talk like we're, like we're home? At, at times where, where church is on your phone, church is on your couch, in your bed, on the toilet. I don't know, I hope you know your toilet right now. Um, like, it's easy for our character, it's easy for our character to be one of, um, um, our response to the little thing to be one of, ah, it's not important, leave it. Ah, I don't need to. Don't worry about it. You know what? God, 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 I'm not even coming to church right now. So why has my prayer life got to stay high? Like, I'm not coming to church to prayer meetings with where people can hear me praying. So do I really need to be doing that, all of that sort of stuff? I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not physically in front of people. So um, do I need to be still doing my Bible study? Do I still, does my devotional life need to still be all of that? But understand this. This is one of these things where this is how our character, because the word that you're building up in your soul right now in this season is the word that you're going to carry through the rest of your life. The word, the prayer that you're praying right now in this season for stuff that seems like it's so, so far away is the same, is the same prayer that God is going to be responding to 
because he's responding, he's constantly, he's, he's, he's constantly responding to the heart's cries of his people. So it's not just at the point in which you cry, it's a constant response to it. What's the little, little things? What's the little, little things where, um, like, because are we behaving like the guy who said, you know what, this gift you've given to me, because the world is on pause, I'm going to put it on pause. This gift that you've given to me, this joy that you've given, because the whole world's miserable and I'm not going to be in church and smiling and faking with people and clapping my hands at praise and worship. I, I do the praise and worship at home from watching my phone with my, 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 my face like sour lemons. Because of the situation that we're in now, this is a time where it's more important that we aren't like the guy who said, oh, um... I knew God was gonna, um, um, I knew God had, had blessed me, yeah. I know God loves me. But I don't wanna mess that up and I don't really wanna do anything too drastic with it. So I'm not gonna do anything at all. And I'm just gonna wait for it to just be a, a time when we're, we're back in church. And then at that point, I'll say, look, yeah. No, 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 no. I'm going to wait for a time where um, I'm able to um, 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 actually be in the position that I want to be in. I'm in the role that I want to be doing. Or that relationship has now started and um, now that Bay is here, now I'm going to be able to... No, 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 no. What are you stewarding now? What's your prayer life like now? What's your devotional life like now? What's your study life like now? What skills are you picking up now? What character are you building now? Brothers and sisters, let's begin to build a character now so that when we come to the place of the mandate, we're ready. Because if we can't be trusted now, when the thing is, how can we prove? How can we show? How can we show ourselves to be diligent people in the later? I think at times we underestimate the power of us doing those little, little things. Because sometimes you haven't got the strength to get up and do the big task. Sometimes you've not got the strength to, um, to do the, 31, uh, the 21 day fast and say, okay, I'm gonna fast about this situation. Sometimes the strength you have is just to do a little one minute prayer and say, God, I need help. But even that seems hard. But we need to build the habit. We need to build that habit. We need to build that character. We need to build that, that, those attributes. Because that's when we go from a place of saying, you know what, I've got faith, but my faith is only the size of a mustard seed. My character that I'm building, that good attribute is only the size of a mustard seed. But I understand that because I'm putting that in God, the fact that it's the size of a mustard seed means that he can multiply that and he can use that alone to move a mountain. There was a boy who had only two fish and five loaves. And for him, that was probably gonna be, okay, like the character of that boy that, um, 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 that, that we see in the Bible story where he shared that he's two fish and, and five loaves. The character of that boy, he, it, 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 I, I kid you not, that's not the first day that he shared his food. If he was a greedy boy, <laughs> we wouldn't be talking about this story now. If it was a greedy personality. So bro, when I'm asking you, sis, what I'm saying to you is that five pounds that's in your account, that you're thinking to yourself, okay, um, my character with this is gonna be different to my character with when I get my five million pounds in my account or my five million pound business. How are you now setting yourself up for the ways that you're gonna behave when you are where you want to be? Are you behaving like that boy who says, you know what, this is all I have. This is all I can do. And seeing God work with it. Or you're saying, I'm going to wait 
till I have and then I'll believe. Our character now is way more important than ever. Our ability to say to God, look, God, this is hard, but I'm gonna keep on pressing. This is difficult, but I'm gonna keep on going. I don't know what to do, but I'm gonna keep on staying with you. Let's be building our character. Let's build, continue to build a character that, that looks to God just as much in the small things as we do in the big things. Because in us doing that, it means that we're leaving it in God's hands and little is much when God's involved in it. Little is much when God's involved in it. Brothers and sisters, let's be good stewards of what God has given us. What has God given to me, Aji? What has God given to me? Your salvation. Your salvation, which comes with the Holy Spirit, which means that you have a peace on the inside of you. There's a peace on the inside of you and because of that free gift. And that peace, that peace is a peace that no one can take away. It's not like the world's peace. It's a peace that, 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 that covers you in a multitude of ways. And that can be your strength when it's hard. That can be your strength when things don't make sense. That could be your strength to take the small step, to do the small things, to do the small changes, to do the small acts that bring you closer to that big thing that God has for you. Brothers and sisters, in this season, as we continue to build our character, as we continue to build ourselves in our most holy faith, as we continue to survive, let's do it knowing that God has got our back. And so that we can hear him say those words, well done, my good and faithful servant. You've been faithful with those little things. Here you go. Get ready for the big. So brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen, aunties, uncles, whoever you are listening, because there's a seat here for everybody, listen, I want to encourage you to know that God has got you. Just start building those small things that build the character for you to succeed and explode in the big things. Thank you very much for listening. I hope you are blessed. I hope you are blessed. I hope that this week for you, these months ahead of you, these days ahead of you, the season that's going before you is one where you walk in the power of God that is over your life, the calling of God that is over your life, and that everything that you require, you will just see fall into place because you know one who put the stars above the hills and owns a cattle on a thousand hills. Therefore, there is nothing our God cannot do. You welcome me, my sister. Take a seat now. Oh, Lord, I know you're looking for a love that's real. I know you're tired saying, Jesus, take the wheel. It's never ever late to come back home. I'm sick and tired of doing it alone. I've been around, round, round, round. So many people let me down, down, down. Oh, oh, oh.